Peter, my buddies and I have been looking for a new hangout. Our usual donut shop has gotten a little Puerto Rican-y. It's Romero the freaking Puerto Rican and Pebbles. On Chairman 94.5. So we got uh, Joe Button in the studio. <laughs> And behind the scenes, behind, behind the scenes, these guys are disrespecting my groupies. I no, don't no, no. feel some type of way. Uh, off air. Well, I've got we, some, you know. We were just talking about, you know, we were just talking about, like, athletes and stuff. And I said if I was an athlete, I would abuse it to, you know, as much as you can abuse it. I'd be groupies, steroids, all right. that stuff. I'd be horrible. And then, uh, and Melissa said to uh, Joe, I was like, oh, you have a ton of groupies. Yeah. And then I was trying to ask what the difference is between gr- athletic groupies and, and rap, rap groupies. groupies. Yeah. And, then, and Joe know. responded, well, he has a ton of groupies, but there's only two of them, so they equal out a ton. So. <laughs> 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 like, kind of big. <laughs> what, so that's the difference? Like the girls who chase you shake the sidewalk? Uh, oh, my oh. God. All right, look. Oh. You're really hard, but I worked so hard to build their self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 here, and here you come. Tearing it down. Tearing them oh down. God. So what's the quality? Do you have some good groupies? Though? You have any no, good no, no, no. I'm, I'm in a relationship. I don't. Oh, have you any, are? I don't have any groupies. Why do you say, oh, like it's a bad thing he's no, in a relationship? No, no, I said, oh. <laughs> oh, I thought like, you said that. You sound disappointed in me. That was just a point. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a good thing he's in a relationship. <laughs> do we know she, her? She said, no, I went, oh, not, oh. No. We don't, so she's not No, she's not famous. Celebrity? She's okay. not famous. She's not in the business. No, okay. Not at all. Does she harass you and stuff? Like when girls are all over you? Oh, yeah, she's a girl. His two groupies. Yeah, she gets all mad. Typical girl. Jealous, angry. What about when you go on tour and you, you, you have to call her when you get in after the show or something? Yeah, she tried. She tried that for a few years. It didn't work. No? Yeah, it didn't work. You see the, did you see the Biggie movie? I, I call shots. No. No? I don't, I don't want to see it. No. Oh, because I was going to say there was that one scene where he's uh, when he's talking to Faith in the hotel room. He's like, look, I'm letting, uh, I forget his boy, I'm letting him use the hotel room tonight, so don't call, okay? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, he goes, don't call, because he's going to be in here with that. Deadlines girl. work before? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Damn. God, Big. So funny, man. All right, so uh, let me, I want to ask you about the Chris Brown Rihanna thing. Right. What do you what do you what do you think about that? What do you think happened? What do I think happened? Yeah. What's your opinion? Hmm. Well, if I have to make up a story, yeah. Well, out of, well, he's been out of the made-up facts that have been given to me. Um I don't know. I think I think they were both drunk. Yeah. I think they were both somewhere out. I think that one of them, I don't know which one, saw someone that was very very attractive to them <laughs> and the other one didn't like it. And then and, and commenced to let them know how much they didn't like it. And I think the other one was tired of hearing it and just wild out. And when you're drunk. Who threw the first punch? And when you wild out. When you mix when you mix sensitive R and B singer guy with West Indian female artist, yeah, something goes down, definitely. It gets crazy. Surprised if I got stabbed. <laughs> Most I had someone email her and I had a theory that Rihanna put Chris Brown in a headlock. And that's why yeah. she had bite marks on her yeah, arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that, this speculation is just going way too far. People oh. are making up the most ridiculous story. No, then I got another email from someone, um, Aisha, who said that she thinks it's going to work in Chris Brown's favor because the fact that he beat up a woman, allegedly, yeah. is going to make him a grown-up and get him out of that bubblegum yeah. image he's been so used Aisha, to. Aisha, you, you need to leave the man that you're with because apparently... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. What? He's teaching you exactly. <laughs> he's like, now I'm a man. I'm yeah. a grown man. I can tell Chris Brown really loves her. He hit her. Exactly. Yeah. No. So, um, now, what do you think... See, because I was saying, I think that Jay Z's gonna gonna want to kick uh, Chris Brown's ass. Now. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> what do you think? That's like, so what do you think all the artists are gonna, you know, feel uh, about this? Uh, I'm, I'm sure that someone will want to kick his ass. Yeah, but he's Not, too little, so they're gonna have to like send someone smaller to kick his ass. Like who? Trey uh, Songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's some other little R&B guy. <laughs> Bobby Valentino. <laughs> Trey, someone little. <laughs> yeah, Trey, Trey Songs is a lot more thug than the world may know. <laughs> He's yeah. just so short, though. <laughs> yeah, just someone, yeah, they could send a, a shorter thug okay. to kick his ass. Like, but I gotta, you got to figure, Jay-Z, who else? Rihanna's done things with T.I. Well, he can't do anything right now. Oh, please, yeah, T.I. can't do it. Yeah, he can't do it. <laughs> and I love T.I., but his image is caught enough hits. Yeah, exactly. Uh, who else is she? Well, she's done stuff with Five. Oh, yeah. Maybe someone from wow. Five. Adam Levine might want to. <laughs> yeah. I want to kick Chris Yo, Brown. Chris ass. Brown is like a black belt and kicks all these guys' ass. <laughs> <laughs> he does a lot of flips and stuff. You never know. That's what I'm saying. Very agile. Yeah. Now, what about uh, you had beef with Saigon, right? I wouldn't call it beef. It was a yeah. short back and forth. It started. What, what, what is that started it? Him. Yeah. I don't know. You something. said you said something in the song? It was just girly stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he, said, he said, she said, they said something I didn't like. That's always stupid. I'm getting old. I don't have time for that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't have time for that. You looked at me the wrong way. Remember when fights used to start? What are you, what are you looking at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Like, like that's, it's almost like that. Like, I'm too old to fight, to physically fight someone over what are you looking at. Yeah. I can't. It has to be something worthwhile for me. Do you think he's doing it because uh, he, like, wants attention or? Um, probably so. Yeah. Probably so. Definitely. And I mean, and it's worked. So, yeah, I don't knock him. 
Like, what, what, what is, so uh, did you address it at all? I mean, what do you say to that? Uh, we went, we went back and forth because I, I love just, I, I love, I don't have any problem with a, a lyrical back and forth yeah. and just with guys who are inferior. Not to say that, he, <laughs> not to that. Say that he's inferior, but I, <laughs> I feel like a lot nice of people disclaimer. are inferior. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we went back and forth for a minute and then it was, oh, it got boring to me. It got boring so I stopped. What if you felt like somebody was better than you? Oh, yeah. Do it. It's a win-win for me. If they're better than me, I'm going to continue to do it, and then I'll, hopefully I'll take something away from it. Yeah. Would you? Is there anything that you wouldn't say, like in a in a lyrical battle? Yeah, I wouldn't get. I wouldn't get crazy. I wouldn't. No. Get, some guys get crazy. Yeah. I mean, even he got crazy. So I got crazy in some of the things. That like he if said. I could rap, I would like. I would just be the most disrespectful person. It's a good thing that you can't do a lot of things. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it really is. I would kill him and then wake him up and kill him again and piss on their grave. <laughs> you need to just keep doing what you're doing. I would. I'd be like, oh, it's just lyrical beef. But then, like, then, when it gets, then how do you know, how do you, where do you cut off the line that you're like, okay, I can say this, but he's not going to want to like fight me for real. Well, no, 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 no. I, I think that there's no line. Like, you can really say whatever you want to say. So I, I'm never offended by anything anybody says in a, in a battle. But personally, I'm not going to go out and, and say the same thing. I'm only responsible for me. I can only govern myself. So there's nothing anybody can say to you in a battle is going to make you want to punch him in the face if you saw Not him? at all. Nothing? Impossible. Damn. Do you follow other beef that's going on right now? Like the whole 50 Cent Rick Ross thing? Don't you like, love it? That's, now that's, have you seen it's that? Because we were on vacation when that whole thing Yeah, they're thing crushing me in beef. 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry, si, we had a good thing going. <laughs> Amateur. Yeah. 50 has to jump in. Even when someone else is beefing, he has to jump yeah, in. He's ruin it. a hold of Rick Ross's baby's mama and was oh, like gosh. talking to her <laughs> about how much of a deadbeat he is. Jeez. And then took her shopping and bought her all these jewel, <laughs> jewels and fur coats and all that. That's it was beautiful. crazy. Always go for the woman. I heard he has pictures too of Rick Ross graduating the uh, yes. his his little academy thing there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I've heard the same thing. Which, by the way, did, did, was that a big deal when you heard that Rick Ross, you know, used to be a police officer or whatever the hell it was? Is that like that big of a deal? I, mean, I, think, I, think, he, I think he made it a bigger deal. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody would have had a problem had he said, you know what, I was younger and that's what I did. Yeah, yeah, it was him. No, I didn't do that. Cops ain't nothing. I hate cops. Serious. I'm a drug dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a <laughs> thug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he made it a bigger deal than it maybe needed to be. He made it seem like someone had a picture of him dancing at a gay nightclub or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> He's like, no, hell no, that's not me. Exactly. Look, look, nothing like me. I'm much fatter than that. Remember that we had Rick Ross in here and he tried to tell us he was 31 years old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't that was 31. Was I'm 31. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, he goes, I'm 31. <laughs> Did you guys ever get it out of him? How old he was? No, nah, no. man. He's too big. I'm not going to push him that much. All right, so if you had to guess how old he was, what would you say? Ah, oh, man. I got I guess like 38. I was going to say 37. Pebbles? Pebbles. Come on, Pebbles. Let's do 35. How old? 35, my. He was 35 in 2001. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being nice. Who, how oh, are you waiting for me? Yeah, yeah how, do you know, you know how old is? He's my peer. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Well, can I have somebody else in the room here to tell yeah, me? Yeah, sure. All right, how old is Rick Ross? Anybody? Anybody? 41. 41? Oh! 41? Oh, 41. Damn. Oh, Crystal's horrible. Wow. <laughs> he's such a good friend of hers. <laughs> and he's such a good friend of hers. Wow. He's horrible. <laughs> That's beautiful. 41. Yikes. Well, Joe, thanks for coming in, man. You're a good dude. Thank you for having me. Good luck. You know, I hope the Yankees are like, you know, neck and neck with the Red Sox up until like August. And then A-Rod just like blows out his ACL or something like that. <laughs> oh my in a really crucial nice. game. You, man. Really nice. In a crucial game. And CC Sabathia just blows out. I want, well, I want Sabathia to hurt himself like in April. I don't even want him to like pitch the season. Listen to this guy. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with him? Well, the Yankees will be neck and neck with Tampa. Oh, I forgot about Tampa. He's not Crap. even putting us in the top two. You guys are getting older. Nah, those... You know, you guys still got one of the best rotations. So, yeah. I mean, I just don't think y'all are better than Tampa yet. You're definitely not better than the Yankees yet. Tampa did get better, too, which is scary. You know what's funny? You got to you gotta win a, about 102 games to, to be the yeah. winner of that division. Mm. What sucks is that they're probably going to be the three best teams, maybe in the whole American League. And somebody's going to miss it. Exactly. Somebody's not going to make it. That sucks, like man. what happened to the Yankees last year. <laughs> what? You know what? Yeah. You know what, though? The, the Yankees, through all of their injuries last year, they still managed to win 89 games. Yeah. As, as horrible as they played. Yeah. So I will keep in touch with you guys through baseball season. Definitely. Uh, spring training starts shortly. That's um, fine with me. And if you want to make a little bet on the Patriots or Giants, who will win the Super Bowl? Oh, hell yeah. Who, who, you Let's know do it. Do you know who's already favorite to win the Super Bowl next year? Uh, I would assume that you know. Patriots. Yep. How did I know that you would say that? <laughs> it's true. It's oh, true. Please. What, what are you reading? The, what's the name of the paper? I had a Boston Globe. What, oh, what man. paper? Vegas, man. Vegas. Oh, I'm telling you. Yes. <laughs> Thank y'all for having me. Thank you, Joe. I will be in touch with you guys during sports season. Yes. Definitely. February 24th, Padded Room. Padded Room, February 24th. Definitely. There it is. Thank you, Joe.